30 years had passed, decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the loot salt desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis, the Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The seven immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! Anahita! Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Let's go, Sargon. Your guard! It's the rush of our... Eliminate those Kushan archers. Leave it to me! How many did you get? I'll get out of your way! So you can catch up!
can get to General Luisca. Watch out, Sargon! General must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Yaviska, you can't hide from me. The Russia bar, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simurg graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tomiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varum, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Prince Hassan. Let us drop the honorifics. 
And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish, Hassan. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. What a reputation. Maybe. I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken and I must accept it. Varum, we're somehow the only immortals left here. <laughs> the others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. I'll be along soon enough. Long live the House of Tamiris! I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. You should join us. Thanks, but I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Just watch me. And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. I'm telling you, Prince Hassan may be my son! <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all! <laughs> <laughs> all right, you are really not her type. Who's type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So... You're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. <laughs> Was Varum still with you? Yeah, he's in the throne room. So there. Must be collecting our payment. What payment? Artaban gets paid in scrolls. I can hear you, man Elias. Where's Rajan? In the shadows, perched on a roof, probably handling some secretive business. Not too loud. Rajan hears all. Nate wants to speak to you. Don't keep her waiting. Not bad, kid. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? <laughs> keep it up, and maybe one day you'll take on a real challenge like me. Ugh, you just don't want to get your ass kicked in front of an audience. <laughs> keep dreaming, kid. Go see Nate. She's waiting for you. So... Will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. And find what is at the end of my blade. Oh. Sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, sort of. In her own way. You know, it is amazing what you did. 
You should be proud of yourself. We all are. One of our own eliminated the Kashan general. Outstanding. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness. And with Sargon's bravery, that's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunts has food and drinks on the house. Varum, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Varum! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. And I hate his guards. Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. What the hell was that? Ah, uh, still a child.
and a heater. What is going on? Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes, she is. Without a doubt. Barum, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Kaf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. <laughs> Citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Carve. And perhaps still does. It has always been the Samorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Simorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. of mountains. Been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here, accessible to all. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? Who knows what might await us? Warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Here, not everything is what it seems. Let's be cautious. I'm good. Kais and Layla are by my Your swords. Yes. They have never betrayed me. <laughs> Here. I'm good. Your sword. Yes.
Stay sharp. Princess Anne can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, Mad Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. And there's only one way to find out. Ha 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 ha! Let's go then! Baram, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own.
What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature. And I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many Wack Wack trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... A general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. Here, for you. Go on, try it. Here, I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Calf. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the Immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Calf. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can, but I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Calf.
Up here! Take the prince to the Simor Gate. Anahita! Don't you dare harm him! If you want Prince Hassan back, come and get him! Anahita! Anahita was here. She's taking Hassan to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. I'm not sure. But to get to Hassan and Anahita, we must destroy it. From this distance, that's not possible for either of us. Maybe Menelaus can help here. Varum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try to find him. I'll look for another way.
What brings you here, traveler? My allies and I are in pursuit of a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here, too. Mount Calf has seen its share of travelers. Many are lost within the web of time's curse. Beware, warrior. Death and misery roam the citadel. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Take this. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious and can only be changed as a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. Welcome. Well... These amulets are very old. Older than me, certainly. <laughs> Each crafted by ancient magi. There are magi in Persepolis. They provide medicines. Those in Mount Calf possess more unique abilities. Though much has been forgotten. The longer Mount Calf remains imprisoned within this time paradox, the more we'll all forget our knowledge and way of life.
of Ardashir's men. Sargon, how? You're alive. So much time has passed. What? You only got here last night. One single night that has lasted 30 years. 30 years? This place is a prison. There is no way out. You must flee. Where are your brothers in arms? All lost in the Citadel. All prisoners of time. This is no end for a warrior. This endless captivity. If a soldier is to die, it should be in combat. Free my men. My insignia. Take it. My brothers in arms will give theirs too. When the time comes to release them. Wait! Father! What's happening to me? Wait! Who are you? You just... disappeared.
Hello. Hello. Is it the first time you're meeting a whack whack tree? I've seen these trees along my journey, but you're the first to speak. <laughs> no, no. I'm not a whack whack tree. I live in it. There are many whack whack trees across the citadel. Their branches are a refuge for us, and also a great help for travelers like you. Yes, I've noticed. These trees have always been here, since the start of all life. Their roots are deep, nourished by the primordial Athra that resonates within all things. But now, the forest suffers. Amidst the curse, a creature from elsewhere sows more misfortune and desolation. Here, take this. You'll need it. Be careful, Sargon. People get lost in the forest. Stay a while. Take refuge with us. Thank you for the warning, but I'll be fine. All of the forest is dying. The one in the forest feeds and feeds. Isn't it the curse that is killing the forest? The curse, yes. Broken time means broken space. She came from elsewhere through a broken door. I see. An uninvited creature has come to take advantage of Mount Calf's misery. It's the same as the enemies of Persepolis. This I can deal with. You're a very brave one. Put him up there. It's a grisly fate. The armor looks old and tattered.
Menelaus's boat. What's going on? Menelaus isn't with you. We got separated. Why? It's strange. I encountered another version of myself. A warrior who looked just like me. <laughs> what are you talking about? You are not welcome here. What was that? What? Some beast too scared to even show itself. That's what. Now where did it go? I want myself a real fight. Good luck to you, Sargon. Try not to go mad! <laughs>
Lend me your Eye of the Wanderer. I'll add the information I've gleaned about this area. Hi, Sargon. Hello, Faraba. Many creatures are afraid of this place. I wanted to see why. It seems as if it's changed a great deal. During solstice, the forest was filled with songs of celebration. How long has the forest been poisoned? Shortly after time shattered, the forest queen invaded. She brought the angry wind.
Then Elias, you're alive. And that amazes you somehow? Oh, I found your boat. Hmm. Different possibilities all unfolding at the same time. It may be worrisome, but at least I know my bow is in good hands. Anahita is taking her sand to the top of the citadel. Right. To the Simor Gate. Before I forget, my bow serves a dual purpose. You may want to take another look. I'll meet you up there.
there, Sargon of the Immortals. <laughs> Thoroba, were you here waiting for me? The world does not revolve around you, young man. That's my maman Bozog. I just know you'll want to visit her shop from time to time. Hi, Sargon. The Upper Citadel. Do you know how to get there? Of course I do. I can go anywhere. But for you, <laughs> it might not be as straightforward. Anyway, I see you now have a bow. To the west, you could reconstruct the statue of the Great Goddess. That's the easiest way. The broken statue. I know where it is. Welcome. Well... You spoke of dangers within the city. Yes. Evil has had time to reach deep into Mount Cuff. The cursed walk every part of the citadel. Each day there are more. Caused by these twists of time? At first, the anomalies and the time crystals all seemed strange. How can such a thing happen? No one is really sure. I'm certain it's tied to the Simurg. The Simurg protected all of Persia since time began. And as the Simurg is god of time, when it vanished, then time became lost. I believe so. Those you encounter here are all trapped. Some tried to flee, but... But none of us can flee from time. Exactly so. If the Simurg never returns, madness is the fate of us all. He is immortal. One who searches for something out of reach, beyond control. Who do you serve, I wonder? You know about me. I turn my eye to the human world when I choose. I'm Sargon. I serve Persia as one of the immortals. Immortals, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Well, immortal. You stand before a true immortal. Kahiva, goddess and blacksmith to the gods. I've forged their greatest weapons. Have you forged weapons for mortals? I've served mortals from time to time. King Darius' sword was some of my finest work. Few other mortals are worthy. I had no idea that in Mount Calf, gods and goddesses walked among humans. It was so. The curse altered everything. Some gods disappeared into other strands of destiny. But I remain. I'm one of the lucky ones. My forge protected me from the winds of time. Either way, nothing feels the same now. Would you forge for a mortal again? For a few time crystals, we might come to an agreement. Understand this. Even in the skewed reach of time, a mortal's life is insignificant. Welcome. Do you wish something forged? I doubt a mortal has seen such a forge as mine. I have not. But my blades... Kais and Layla have never failed me. Over flame and heat, this forge channels my Athra. Such an energy is what shapes the strongest of weapons. Believe me, mortal, when I say the forge speaks to me. My forge senses the glow of Athra within everything. 
It tells me of an awe with ancient power that calls out. Will you find it? During the shattering, things were lost, while others were unearthed. We shall see if such power wants to be found by a mortal. If you are worthy, then perhaps your map will aid you. Welcome. Do you wish something forged? Sargon? Hi, Sargon. Lend me your Eye of the Wanderer. I'll add the information I've gleaned about this area.
Silence here. <laughs> Heard that one before.
Any sign of the prince? <sighs> None. And I've been scouring the place for three days now. Three days? Artaban, but we only got here hours ago. <sighs> hours for you. Days for me. Years for Ardashir's man. Artaban. Sargon. Varum saw Anahita's guards, and he's in pursuit. As for me, I... cannot continue. Time flows differently here. My mind is playing tricks on me. I can't discern the truth from the imaginary. Artaban. Thank you for being honest with me. Does this mean you're retreating? I'm not giving in just yet. I intend to serve until my last breath. After all, if Anahita really has changed loyalties, I believe you're short of a sparring partner. Good to see you. Let's warm up and review the basics. The basics, again. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Get in position. Show me how you chain ground attacks. Bear in mind you can redirect your next attack. Since you propel your opponent away with your last strike, that's the end of the chain. At close range, the sweep 
is good against smaller foes. You can also chain attacks afterwards. An airborne enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. Make use of that. Perfect to cripple agile enemies. Remember that you move forward with each attack. If you want to keep your distance, the sweep allows you to maintain your position. This doesn't suit your style, but some situations might require you to take such precautions. Precautions? What precautions? Hmm. My point exactly. Do you remember what I told you about propelling enemies up in the air? An airborne enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their f- <laughs> At least that got in your head. Let's go over your upward attack. Use them to hit targets above you, but also to propel ground enemies in the air. A word of warning. Using the same upward attack twice in a row will lessen its effectiveness. You can also use an upward attack in a fighting combination. Be sure you're within range to strike. Following through with your attacks lets you stay in the action. Remember, Rashaba. Even a constant wind can carve a mountain. Now then, the forward slide. It's a chance to engage with an offensive advantage. Closing the distance. That suits me. Now let's combine everything. Chase the enemy mid-air after your upward attack. Vary your upward attacks. The same one twice in a row will not give you the same propulsion. I understand. Now for a specialty of yours. Acrobatic techniques. Ready for the next lesson? I'm always ready. You know about mid-air combinations, but there are other options. Try to reach the flying enemy. Easy enough. You cannot chain attacks after this move, but it should prove itself useful in certain situations. Alternatively, you can aim at enemies directly below you. Mind your position. Now that's a new way to lift up the enemy. You can send the enemy up even higher with aerial combinations, rather than sending them far away.
This technique is valuable. You can save on time or throw your foe towards environmental hazards. Should you see a use for it, you can also send them crashing into the ground if you prefer. If I rush to the ground afterwards, I can maintain my flow before they get back on their feet. <laughs> For that, you know more than I do. I'm past the age to perform cartwheels at the fair. Huh. Very funny. Sargon. Remind me what our ancestors said about Athra. Athra flows through the universe and all living things. As much as weapons are the extension of our bodies, Athra is the extension of our will. Precisely. You've been listening. Athra can be channeled, intensified in your blades, until they are saturated with energy. Athra charged attacks have several advantages. They can be destructive, and even increase your focus. Look at you. I can see your Afra radiating. You've embraced the teachings of our ancestors. You've come a long way since I met you. But mastery is a never-ending journey. Now then, focus your Athra in the middle of a ground combination. Right in between moves. I'll give it a try. <laughs> You see that? It's effective at annihilating enemy defenses. And if they do not break, they will certainly be weakened. Are you also able to do that in the air? I've practiced the technique to crush targets from above. I'll show you. These are strong attacks, and they knock back the enemy, marking the end of the combination. With proper training, Athra, the everlasting blaze, is yours to channel and control. No fighting style rules above all. The greatest combatants understand adaptability. Knowing your opponent's strengths is key to bringing them down. Take massive opponents, for example. They react differently to upward attacks. Give it a go. strikes knock them back, but they're too heavy for me to lift them off the ground. Worse still, some opponents can ignore the recoil of your strikes because of their build or magic. You must be vigilant, as this means they can counter-attack during your fighting combinations. Are there even worse enemies out there? None of my attacks have any effect on them. Not showing signs of pain doesn't mean they didn't get hurt. And careful what you wish for. The Citadel is full of mysteries. We're not out of the woods yet. And one more thing. Some enemies can recover while you're in the middle of your combination. Some can parry your next strike, cutting short your chain of attacks. 
You can find out for yourself. Hmm. I see more and more the benefit of sending the enemy up in the air whenever that's possible. But you know, that's not always possible. The best defense is not always offense. A warrior who throws himself into the fray without defensive skills can win battles, but never wars. It's not the first time I've heard you say that. The goal is to structure combat in such a way as to hit the enemy without ever being hit in return. Your dodges, backwards and forwards, allow you to pass through enemy attacks and remain unscathed. Your last strike in a ground combination does not allow these actions. The price to pay for power. You can also end your combination early with a jump. While in the air, you can dodge by doing a backflip. Jumping while chaining attacks can also be used offensively. Parrying is the best defense against a head-on attack, turning the table in your favor. Not all attacks can be parried. If you're attacked from both sides, Escaping is your best option. Parrying and dodging are not unique to us, Sargon. You can expect enemies who can do the same. You already know this well. How recovering your balance after striking is when you're most vulnerable. After a successful dodge, the odds are in your favor. Launch a counterattack right at that moment. I could do this all day long. Attacking from behind is also advantageous and even more so when the enemy is already engaged. Careful against fast foes. They may turn around and punish your attempt at a sneak attack. Only if they can match my speed. You can kick while sprinting to propel the enemy into the background. And to make a loud entrance. Sprinting allows you to close the distance. You can still perform an upward attack. Artaban, I want to perfect my parrying technique. What do you have for me? The art of parrying requires perfect timing and faced head on. Get ready to parry. As you may have discovered, projectiles can also be returned to the sender.
Do be vigilant. Once more, not all projectiles can be parried. Some moves give you better opportunities to counter. Learn to identify them, and don't miss. Few enemies are able to recover from your rush of our counters. Actually, I named them downburst counters. Whatever you say. <laughs> I wish I could parry any attack. You know that's impossible. Even for me. Fortunately, your senses are sharp. You'll know in advance if an attack can be parried or not. This isn't the whole day's lesson, right? There is a lesson in every failure. Did you see the effect of the hit you took? That's what you get when you miss a parry and pay for it. Getting hit this way is particularly dangerous. And your Athra focus takes a hit too. <sighs> well, I can feel it in my jaw now. Athra, the everlasting blaze, the unifying energy that interlaces the cosmic tapestry. It's the flame that gives and takes, embodying the very core of existence. Its presence and blessing extend throughout the cosmos. By discerning the cadence of Athra's flow, you can better navigate exercises and cures. Athra bestows stability and longevity upon those who seek its guidance. Sargon, your Athra burns brighter with each successful technique and can be unleashed all at once. Athra Surge, I've used it before. Get in position and start channeling it. Firstly, taking hits will break your focus and your Athra will dissipate. Riskier actions, such as parrying and launching charged attacks, are even more effective. Try to parry this enemy and see how fast you can gather your Athra. Keep in mind that dodging is safer, but it will not build up Athra. Parry whenever you can. Let's talk about the Athra Surge. Since it has dodging properties, it's ideal for counterattacks. It's useful for breaking down defenses and can stop attacks that are usually, well, unstoppable. Every warrior prides themselves on developing their ultimate techniques, but you can also learn from them. Keep in mind that Athra ignites the soul, gracefully moving through unending transformation. Harnessing and charging its strength is merely a single expression of its multifaceted nature. Fine work. You now know all the basics. Don't forget, you can always visit for a training session. If you learn new moves, perhaps we can figure out together how to use them. Take this for starters. Good to see you.
the bow. Not my weapon of choice, but I've observed Menelaus in combat. I can teach you a few things. I can't copy his unconventional fighting style, but I can incorporate it into my own style. Hmm. For some warriors, being too technical can get in the way of the ideal of perfection. Let's start with the basics. The bow itself. Let your senses guide your weapon. Let them... It's almost too easy. You'd think this bow is enchanted. Not enchanted, but infused by the Athra of Amenelias from years and years of battling. Shooting an arrow after a jump will halt your descent. The arrows are also strong enough to lift your enemies up in the air. Go on, give it a shot. This is a good trick. It allows for many possibilities. What did Menelaus tell you about the Chakram? Uh, not much. I remember him parrying the Chakram to have it bounce back. Get ready to parry. I see you're getting good at this. I'm already good. Perfection can't be that hard. Artaban, I need to tell you something. After I defeated the Manticore, I found a feather charged with energy. A relic of the Simorg? <sighs> I've only read of its blessings through scriptures, but to even find one... I can slip through space and move through it in an instant. Perhaps you can use it to regain control after being thrown. This power has real potential, but it seems you must put your feet on the ground before using it again. Staying in the air for longer must also have its advantages, like chasing down an airborne enemy. If you develop any other skills, come and see me again. I cannot guarantee that I can teach you everything, but I can try. Good to see you. Any word of the others, Artaban? Some. Though I'm not sure what help it will be to you. Aura passed through quickly. He told me he had glimpses of Menelaus in combat and was off to find him. I'm certain Menelaus will manage. Yes. I said as much to Orod. In any case, Orod will have his back. Hi, Sargon. Welcome. Welcome. Do you wish something forged?
Because of my Athra, this forge is ablaze with divine energy. The ground shudders. And do you hear the hum? This is what called out to my forge. To you, all such as this will unleash immense power. Divine energy. The power of gods. It is more than just power, mortal. It's insight. To find something that glows with a god's athra is a gift. And so, this is meant for you. My thanks to you and your forge. You have my attention, warrior. Few of your kind would be worthy of such things. Welcome. Do you wish... Welcome. Not so rough with the prince. Anahita, I know you. You're loyal to the crown. What is the meaning of this? There is still a long way to go. Hold! I know that Athra... Anahita, stop right there! Go after him! They were above us a moment ago. I see. They must have gone up west. It's strange. It's a maze here, but I feel I've walked this path before. Laura? Are you all right? <laughs> yes. All is well. Here, take this. I don't want to lose anyone to this place. Stay on the path to the Samor Gate. I'll meet you up there.
He is coming. Huh? He wants to lock us up. Who? Oh. This place has become a prison. This place has become a... Oh, it's getting too crowded in here.
Sargon? Lend me your Eye of the Wanderer.
face and its tricks. Not tricks. A better version. We'll see how true that is. We share the same goal. But only I can finish it. Give me your powers.
welcome. Deep Coming. Huh? He wants to lock us. Who? Oh, you found me. But I wasn't lost, you know. So many new visitors race through the city. You mean, like me? Did you see a woman bearing the crest of a general? See? No. Our route sense the tremors across Mount Calf. Ah. Then you don't know who it could be. She rushes the young man. Shoves and pushes. Wakwak doesn't understand this one. The young man is a sensitive soul. Kind. The Wakwak likes this one. Step lightly. The jailer listens for the faintest breath. Was it always this way? There must have been a jailer before Darius's reign. Yes, yes. Always been crime. Always been punishment. But a corrupted mind distorts everything it sees. Yes, I think I understand. He's too far gone. Even if time was fixed, the jailer's sense of justice will be forever twisted. Step lightly, Sargon. I will. Remember. Been freed. Who has? He is surely hunting you, hunting us all.
gone. Don't let him see you. You can come out. Did you find me because of the mark I left? <sighs> You've come along at the right time. You were looking for me, I think. No. Though you seem in trouble. Trouble? No, no. I was collecting a piece of the stolen moon. Stolen moon? You're on your own journey. I see that. Do you have the curiosity, I wonder, to help me on mine? Thieves broke the moon into pieces and have hidden it from the sky. Thus, I have embarked on a journey to find the true moon. Look up, friend. I've seen the moon countless times. Merely an illusion. So those who stole the true moon can keep it for themselves. I'm not sure how I can help you. I don't see what you see. Surely you see that these remarkable events have brought us on the same path? My journey for the kingdom has brought me to this strange city. The kingdom? That is important, but the moon is for all. If I'm in trouble, I'll leave you this mark. You'll know I need assistance. Help me find these precious pieces. The night sky needs us. Ha ha! You will see it's not a fool's errand. No challenge can keep me from my purpose. Take this. And there's more to come. You will see. It's not a piece of the moon, then? The true moon cannot be kept by one person. Right. Well, watch yourself. It's dangerous. <laughs> true. I'm not a warrior like you. So then, it appears, we are in this together. Follow my path. The moon and I will guide you onto the next piece.
Here you are at last. Do we know each other? We've met many times, in the past and in the future. Sorry, old man. I don't have time for this. No time? Damn right, you don't have time. None of us do, Sargon. How do you know my name? You don't have time, I don't have time, nobody has time.
far now. Keep walking, Hassan, and no sudden moves. I have no wish to hurt you. Sargon, listen to me! Hassan is coming with me. Step aside, Sargon. I'll deal with this. Thank you, Varum. Anahita, please surrender. Varum? No! Hassan! Anahita, what are you hiding? How dare you, Varum? You killed our prince. Have you no honor? Honor, duty. Don't we all have blood on our hands? What makes you different? I'm not after the throne, and I don't prey on the innocent. So long as I'm alive, you'll never get the crown. So be it. Why kill the prince? The son was just a pawn. Don't you trust my judgment? So you truly want the throne? What will you do about it? Exactly what you taught me. No chance. This was your doing, Sargon. Sharper than your sword, Sargon. First time for everything. Efforts are futile. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I will erase every chapter, every word of your story. I can undo it all. The 
gods chose me. I am the rightful king. Accept it. <laughs> You can still change your mind, Sama. I did. You are a weapon raised to serve Persia. This is the greatest honor. Remember, Sargon. I am Sargon. I have come to challenge the White Lion of Persepolis. <laughs> you stray dog. What ditch did you crawl out of? Lower your weapons. General Nate. Stand down. He'd tear you apart. Where should we deliver your corpse, young man? Dump me on the banks of the Aras, or the Yazd Plains. It's all the same to me. What brings you here, young warrior? People say you're the greatest warrior in all of Persia. So, I've come to prove them wrong. <laughs> Very well, then. You are a brave one, Sargon. I'll give you that. And bravery is what makes us immortals. How am I still alive? And Vara? How could I be so wrong? Case. W where's Layla? What's at the end of your blade? In this case, the ground. <laughs> Your anger blinds you, Sargon. Hassan is dead. The Immortals have failed. Victory, failure... Must every passing encounter on your journey be given a name? Hey! Give me the eye! It's mine!
How did an old woman manage to survive here in this pest-ridden hole? No one cares about the ancients. The present rushes blindly forward, erasing the past. We belong to times gone by. We are the forgotten ones. Perhaps that is why we have survived. A shame. The past can shine a light upon the future, after all. Perhaps it can. Is there anything you can tell me about what happened here on Mont Carf? Of course. But you must do something for me first. All my children are dead. Killed by Ehrlich. A mighty boar god, servant of hell, must pay. Ehrlich took my family. Go take his life. I promise I will tell you the history of this place.
Do you have Xerxes? Do I... Have Xerxes! I only accept Xerxes. Don't you try giving me crystals! I won't take them, understood? No crystals! Xerxes, no crystals. I got the message. So, what will it be? If it's from the gutter, I got it. Everything ends up in the sewers. <laughs> Even the treasures. Xerxes! Don't mind if you're dead, so long as you pay me. I was left to die. Everything down here was. Some think the pit is the worst of the city. I feel this place feeding on misery. It feeds on more than that. Darkest of souls lurk here. The curse only made things hungrier. Chopping your way through the worst of the city. Bested the manticore. Guess you don't want to scrap them swords, then. I do not. Suit yourself, climb your way back up to the top, settle whatever scores. I intend to. Don't be surprised when you get all the way up there and find your soul is as dark as the rest. Everything has a story. Everything is worth something. Everything ha
fast for an old man. We were one and the same, only I chose a different path. I don't understand. Time no longer flows like a river. It's a raging sea where all fates are intertwined. I too tried to find Prince Hassan, but Mount Karth is getting the better of me. You found the Simorg's powers. I can save us all. Give them to me! No. You already had your chance, and you failed. I can do better than you. Give me your powers! Ha <laughs> ha! 
You know, you're not the only one acquiring the Simorg's powers. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. Save a friend? What do you mean? Oh, so now you have time for me. Hmm. Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend along a timeline of the past? Hassan is there. Wait, is there a way to save Hassan? Tell me. I'll do whatever it takes. Hmm. <sighs> well, all right. I'll tell you. But you must deal with someone with the darkest of souls. A soul so dark and dangerous, she relishes in chaos. But how do I find her if I don't have my eye? What eye? You already have two of those. My orb, prism, eye thing that you stole. Oh, that thing. You had it all along. <laughs> what? But how? Here, I'll show you where evil lives. Look for her within the pit of the Eternal Sands. You must show proof of courage and cleverness to get there. The Pit of Eternal Sands. No one has ever come out. Maybe because no one has ever entered. The Pit of Eternal Sands.